Mycobacterium avium, subspecies paratuberculosis, or MAP, is the bacterial strain responsible for bovine yoni's disease, BJD. Van Holsen's report on the effect of genetic selection for yoni's disease resistance in dairy cattle focused on creating a genetic model for BJD resistance and determining the effect that selection strategies have on resistance. A 100 head dairy herd was tested in the Netherlands for the presence of MAP through the use of an enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or ELISA. The experiment included three selection strategies. Dam selection of BJD negative cows, sire selection where the sire produced resistant offspring and a combined selection taking into consideration both the dam and the sire. Three parameters were observed. These being the length of latency the bacterium has in a resulting calf, the calf's susceptibility to doses of the infection and finally the length of susceptibility period of the calf. Members of the tested herd were categorised as susceptible animals, transiently infected animals, subclinically infected animals that presented no observable symptoms but had a positive ELISA test, and resistant animals. The resultant calves born were classed as either susceptible or transiently infected through vertical transmission by the dam. A model was created based on weekly recordings of birth rates of susceptible animals, infection, resistance and death alongside shedding of infectious doses of the bacterium through faeces. The predictive response to the prevalence of MAP within the herd over 20 years indicated that sire selection had an effect on the length of susceptibility in calves. The results also revealed that for dam selection in animals not showing clinical signs of BJD, reduced prevalence was greatest in the length of susceptible period and overall prevalence reduction would take a greater time period compared to that of sire selection. As can be seen in Table 1, a low BJD prevalence through combined selection is reached for each parameter within a manageable time period for disease control. Table 2 presents the results and the number of generations required for BJD prevalence to reach 0.005 through sire selection. It can be seen that 24 generations are required for susceptibility to reduce. This indicates that through sire selection, resulting calves will have a reduced susceptibility to the MAP bacteria. Van Holsen's experiment concluded by stating that dam selection was least responsive in regards to BJD prevalence reduction. It also continued on to state that sire selection alone had the largest response despite requiring a considerable number of generations to reduce prevalence, assuming that the tested herd was already infected, whereas similar studies are based on infection establishment. Confirmation of these results as accurate is restricted due to limited knowledge of the biological pathways involved in the resistance to the disease. A 2008 experiment analyses multiple parameters, with the most influential being the infected dams. The epidemiological model resulting from this experiment does not, but should, include variation in parameters, allowing for progress to resistance or from latency to shedding of the bacterium. Through doing this, a more conclusive model would be created and further research into the parameters would either eliminate or confirm them as contributing factors to the genetic selection for BJD resistance.